The member for Mitchell. Hey, hey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise tonight on behalf of the hundreds of residents of Rouse Hill in my electorate of Mitchell who are threatened by yet another government failure in New South Wales. Last week, more than 100 residents rallied at Sunningdale Place in Rouse Hill after receiving letters from the Department of Planning in New South Wales, which were sent to streets like Spring Mill Avenue, Glen Abbey Street, Sunningdale Place, Greensboro Avenue, Pinehurst Avenue, Green Hills Drive and Clower Avenue, Rouse Hill, asking to make their properties available for soil testing and survey work. This letter, of course, raised immediate fears that they would have their properties compulsorily acquired by the state government. Of course, attached with this letter was a brochure which outlined a new transport corridor which would go through their houses, Mr Speaker. Indeed, the transport corridor would also go through the local school, Rouse Hill Primary School. Indeed, Mr Speaker, the, the, the transport corridor proposed by New South Wales Department of Planning would also go through a preschool. Uh, and indeed, this caused immense concern and distress to those residents of Rouse Hill. Immediately on becoming aware of this proposal, Mr Speaker, uh, I went out to meet with those residents and there were hundreds of them gathering in the streets there at Rouse Hill, hundreds of them. And all of them, some of them said to me, including many mothers, said to me that they had not slept in many lights because they had moved to this area, Rouse Hill of course being an area that is just seven or eight years old, many of these houses less than that in terms of years old, because of its great family values, area, uh, family values that the area has. Now, of course, my electorate of Mitchell has the number one couples with dependent children in Australia, according to the census, and indeed it is a very homogenous society. So when the New South Wales State Government proposes to put a transport corridor right through the houses and the local school, this understandably causes great consternation and concern. Of course, a rally was held on Monday morning where a further two to three hundred residents turned up at Rouse Hill Public School, me being here in Canberra, being unable to attend. But of course, the, the Channel 9 News, which turned up to cover that, then went to see Minister Kelly, who is the State Minister for Planning in the New South Wales Government. Of course, Minister Kelly outlined to Channel 9 that there had been a mistake, Mr mm. Speaker, in relation to the placement of the corridor through houses and through the local primary school. A mistake, Mr Speaker. A departmental error that would be rectified urgently. Once again, Mr Speaker, we see in New South Wales an example of incompetence and mismanagement threatening the livelihoods and the ability of a person to get ahead in New South Wales because of government failure. Now, Mr Speaker, we have still, it is now Tuesday, close of business, and of course there has still been no written apology to the landowners and property owners in Rouse Hill. This is a government error, we are advised through the television, that these properties were under threat. Their land values are, are of course now in question and open to question because of this serious bungle by the Department of Planning. Mr Speaker, it is outrageous for the government not to have apologised. It is outrageous for the government not to have immediately moved to correct that error and provide certainty to the residents and landowners in Rouse Hill. And Mr Speaker, it is something that I rise here tonight to call on urgently that the New South Wales State Government remove off its websites any reference to this incorrect transport corridor that it immediately write and apologise to the landowners in New South Wales in my electorate. And I have risen in this chamber before to speak about property rights in New South Wales. I re remind the House about the episode of the landowner in Parramatta who was to have his business and property compulsorily acquired by the council who took his case to the High Court and won. He won his case in the High Court. One week later, the New South Wales State Government uh, changed the law in New South Wales and compulsorily enabled the council to compulsorily acquire his property. Now, Mr Speaker, the callous and lax attitude of the New South Wales State Government to property owners' rights in New South Wales must be stopped. Yeah, it is yeah. something that is completely outrageous. I want to record my thanks to the residents who have brought this to my attention, uh, to David Catt, the editor of the Rouse Hill Times, who has been invaluable in highlighting the flaws in the state governments and the errors that the state government has made. I want to call specifically on the New South Wales state government to formally apologise to each and every property owner and provide them with certainty about their land values and their property rights going forward. Yeah, yeah.